my channel. It's Sarah here. How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Um, I know I haven't posted for quite a second here. I was on set for the show Charmers, which actually all four of us are in. Um, it is going to be on Brat TV and it will hopefully be coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. But today, I'm going to be doing a girl talk to start off my YouTube fun videos again. And we've got a really exciting one. Today we have a really big celebrity who is A-list and that I would never think would actually come on to that I didn't actually ever think would come on to our show. We have Notorious Kid! Hello everyone. We have lots to talk about today. We have Brooklyn Queen's mom and we will be talking with her. Make sure you're following my Instagram because I do girl talks every month and I have a new special guests every time. So we have Indy, a new guest. Hi. Sophie, who's been on my show before and Brooklyn, who has been on my show before. Hey. And follow everyone else too because we have big things coming up and they post fantastic content as all. So let's get started. All right, so the first question is, what do you think of Jeliana? <laughs> Jeliana, I think we both moved on, which is good. Um, right, Sophie's got a new boyfriend named Nathan. Yes. Nofi. Yes. What and do you I all think, think about Nofi? Sometimes they can get in a little bit of drama. I see that ship and drama more than other ships, but that's about it. But I'm happy for you guys. Um, me, for me, I mean, I don't know Jensen. I knew Eliana pretty well. We were in a squad together, but I'm happy for Eliana. I think she deserves to be happy, and I'm happy for Sophie because she's moved on too, and I think she's in a better place. So, Indy, Indy, me? <laughs> oh hi. Okay. Yeah. No, I think I think they're cute together. I, yeah. Indy, Indy has seen Jeliana firsthand. Yeah. I, I feel like they. Good for them. Good. Yay. I applaud them. I like you and Nathan. I haven't met Nathan, but. Yeah. Good. Yep. Okay, next question. <laughs> next question. Next question is, what's up with soup? Yeah, um, Sawyer and I, as you guys saw, we did a story, so we did meet up. Um, with Sawyer and I, we've just been chilling. Um, he's been working on a lot of things for him, which is good. Um, I'm very proud of him, and hopefully that we can do, like, a video sometime. So, Sawyer, yo, stop being so busy. Okay, next question is, who is your crush? Like for like all for of everybody, us? yeah. Who, like who? okay, Brooklyn. Who is your crush? Ah, why did you start with me? <laughs> Bye. Who was the last night? Who was the last night? I couldn't sleep. Ready? One, two. Ah. Mm. We all been new. Go, mm. go, go, sir. <laughs> um, um, Treasure. Sarah has not had a lot of onion treasure. Who are you talking about? London Who are you talking about in Before here? Before we shot this video, she was like, maybe London asked me to be his girlfriend in the <laughs> car. <laughs> London, dare, please. Cut yeah. So He sucked me. I think that for me, um, you know, I don't... I don't know a lot of boys anymore. I used to know a lot more than I do nowadays. <laughs> and I can say that I just really have not met anybody that, like, I would want to date. So, no one, I guess. You guys already know my Nathan. Indy. No, I don't have a crush on anyone. Next question. Next question. <laughs> What's the worst thing a boy has ever said to you? Mm. <laughs> Ooh, I got a list. The worst thing a boy has said to me was, I'm just gonna say like exactly what he said. He said, I'm sorry to let you know this. Well, he didn't even say sorry. That's the bad part. He said, your best friend sent me news last night. A boy said that to you? Yes, he told me that my best friend sent him nudes and I was talking to him, but it's okay. Cause I don't like you anymore. So what happened with the best friend? We're, I'm not friends with her no more. I'm not friends with him. I don't talk to him and I don't talk to her. Wow. Are they dating now? No. Okay, well the most, the most hurtful thing that was ever said to me was when I was in a friend group and just one night they got really upset with me and they just told me to leave and they like truly meant it. And then like they invited everyone to sleep over that night, but then they didn't invite me to sleep over on purpose. And then I did leave, so <laughs> try it twice. <laughs> try try it, it twice. twice. You said it, you meant it, I did it. A boy literally, he uh, was looking at me and he was like, yeah, just to let you know, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but like you're really being annoying right now and you're really annoying me. And he's like, I'm not mad at you. You're just being really annoying. And I'm like, 
okay, thanks. She's like, but don't feel bad about it. And I'm like, <laughs> whoever you are, <laughs> coming for you. Okay, next question. <laughs> Will Indy ever hang out with Walker again? Well, me. <laughs> okay, then. Um, I don't know. I don't have like a specific time that we're gonna hang out with <laughs> right now. Like I haven't planned anything. <laughs> And I don't know if we will, but maybe in the future. I'm, She's down I'm, to hang out yeah. though. Yeah. Okay, next question. Are periods scary? <laughs> don't don't <laughs> ask me. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I first right, got- Right, tell me y'all, tell me, are they scary? <laughs> are they scary? Well, when I first got mine, I cried because I didn't know what was happening. Like, I knew like every girl goes through that and stuff, but like, I wasn't expecting it. So it just happened and I felt like like I peed on myself kind of like, cause it's like wet. And <laughs> I went to the bathroom and there's like blood everywhere. And then my mom was like at the grocery store. And then I called my younger brother and I was like, um, get mom, get mom. He's like, bro, something's wrong. Because I was like crying like really bad. And then I'm like, I'm bleeding. And then he called my mom right there and he was like, Mom, Brooklyn's bleeding out of her butt. Hurry up and get home. <laughs> so it was scary at first, but then it was just like normal after you had it for like three years. So, yeah. Okay, what about y'all two? Come on, Sophie, spill the tea. Right, spill the tea. <laughs> I can tell the story. Sophie called me one morning and she was like, she was like, guess what I got? And I thought she got like a new cat or something. I was like, a new cat? She's like, no, my period. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, congratulations! Guys. Corinne and I got it at the same time. You're welcome, Corinne. Everyone <laughs> threw me under the bus, you're coming with me. <laughs> yeah, Corinne and I got it the same day. And their, their birthday are a day after each other. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. oh that's so, you and What about Andy? you and me? It wasn't really that scary for me, because Azalea already had hers, so. I already well, I knew everything about it, because I was there like when she had hers, so like, I, it wasn't that scary. Next okay. question. Does the drama ever affect you? It depends because if it's like about Brooklyn, I know Brooklyn can handle herself. And sometimes <laughs> I don't even tell Brooklyn when I see it because I know she's gonna be on there like blah blah blah. So, but Brooklyn's you know usually in the right. If it's like about like Sophie, I do feel like a little more protective because I know it could like possibly hurt Sophie. Like Sophie's super strong and independent, but I feel like it could hurt her a little more because she's younger. <laughs> and if it's about me, I'm just like oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Keep going. If it's about me, I feel like I'll be like upset about it. It depends on who. <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes, I don't know, if people like go on social media and like they lie about a lot of people, like that people that they were close with, then it kind of hurts because then like you are like, wow, I trusted you so much and you're just lying on social media. But if it's about my friends, sometimes, yeah, with you. <laughs> Yeah, with Corinne, I know that she can handle Corinne herself. Corinne gets so frustrated. <laughs> but yeah. Would you guys ever create your own squad? No. <laughs> no. I don't understand why people have to have a squad to be friends. It's almost like a liability. Like you're afraid that person's gonna like leave or something. So you have to make a squad. Just be friends. Like we have a huge group of friends. We hang out with who we want and we don't label them as a squad because it's like Squads are super toxic. I've been in way too many to count, and all of them have been toxic. And two, <laughs> just counted. <laughs> two, yep. I think that I have no problems with squads. I think they can be toxic, but if you want to be in a toxic environment, congratulations. I don't think I'm ever gonna create my own because I don't want to be in that toxic environment. Did you get Brack to cast you all on Charmers, or was it just a coincidence? I think it was a coincidence, honestly, because a lot of the people in the crew, they didn't even know that we were all friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. They were surprised when they realized that all of us were friends. So, like, I know yeah. that someone saw a captive um, from both of us yeah. and told us in that. So, that's all I know. But, no, we just all auditioned, and then um, we all knew that we were all auditioning, but we didn't know if we were going to get the parts or not. No. And well, that well, might I, be true for you guys. Yeah, I didn't know. Oh yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. No one knew. I knew that <laughs> Indy and Sophie were on the show, but mm -hmm. we didn't know who the main. Like for a couple of weeks, we were trying to figure out who the main character was. Yeah. And then we went to um, a fitting, and they told us that Brooklyn Queen is playing Santa Black. I didn't. I was trying not to tell them, you guys. <laughs> I didn't want you guys to know until like you all were together rehearsing lines, and then I would have just walked in here, and then I would have said my line, and you guys would have been like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> she was trying to surprise us. 
<laughs> Any ships and charmers? Yeah. I ship a uh, Tyler and Chloe. Me too. Yes, same. It seems like they're always together. Yeah, in like, the scenes. Yeah. I ship Tyler and Clover. Uh, in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Got the camera. What was your favorite part of shooting charmers? Ooh. Um, yeah, it was really fun to film because we we're all like really great friends. And we also had trailers together, like some of us shared trailers, which was really cool. Like you could open the thing and they, who decorated it? We went to Target and then we got stuff to decorate our trailer. Next question, when is Charmers coming out? I heard like May, May 27th, 27th. Yeah. 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 But I wouldn't May be or sure. June. Who forgets their lines most on set? Selfie. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. So no, 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 no. Let me take this question over. <laughs> Sophie literally just improvs her whole script. <laughs> Who's the most funny one on set? Uh, Sarah. Me and Sarah laugh 24-7. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah like, doing her lines. The, she does her lines the best. She, yeah. You always make them so funny. Aww. Definitely Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. Every five seconds, we just look at each other and start laughing. Yeah. And then we can't stop laughing to get the scene done. Mm -hmm. They had like this little snack table and Brooklyn and I tried like all the snacks blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Are y'all happier that you are not in a squad anymore? Yes. yes! Sophie, do you miss Piper? So a lot of people ask me this. I do miss our friendship that we had, but I think Piper has changed a lot from when I knew her. So I didn't miss the environment that I was in. Like I didn't miss a lot of things that happened, uh, but I missed Piper as a person. Okay, last question. Uh, Brooklyn, this is for you. Mm -hmm. Who taught you how to twerk? And my like, mom right? taught me how to twerk. Speaking of the person who taught me how to twerk, mom, do you want to come in the video? I will join you. Come on, Nail Taurus Kim. Come on! Oh, oh. Ooh, are Senior. we all getting on this chair? No! Okay. So this is the Nail Taurus K I M. Let me let me just give a little what Kim's vibe. Kim does not lie, she's truthful, she always stands up for you, and she always knows what's right. Try her twice. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you for the introduction. Oh. So Kim, we are gonna ask you some questions. I'm a little nervous of what what questions you might ask me, but I'm here for it. Let's do it. All right, Nap. Mm. There's been some back and forth between you and Gavin's mom, Teresa. Let's talk about it a bit. We're gonna wrap up this video now and go on with our daily lives. Now I'm all crying. Can I please have some tissue? And be positive. We love you guys. Peace out.